Joining us right now for a friendly debate about the momentum of the Occupy movement and what it does or does not mean for the Tea Party, local Tea Party spokesman Jason Hoyt, who joins us often, and Susanna Randolph, a political activist who supports what Occupy Orlando has been doing. Thanks for coming in. You bet. All right, Susanna, we're going to begin with you. The Occupy mantra is we represent the 99%, but if we look at downtown, not as big of a turnout as expected. Where was everyone today? Um, actually, we had over 1,000 people down there today, and um, worldwide in 190 cities across the country, as well as 100,000 are turning out in Rome just recently. I mean, again, this is 99% of people, and let's be clear, these are folks who are middle-class Americans who play by the rules, pay their taxes, work really hard, and, and go by the American dream, and these are the folks who are playing by the rules when Bank of America and General Electric and Corporate America literally paid zero in taxes last year and are the ones who are getting bailouts in the form of TARP. So folks are really angry. This is something that's happening worldwide. It's not unique to the United States and you're seeing the turnout happening worldwide around this movement. And yeah. so we're very happy with how things are going uh, across the world and here in Orlando. Susanna, just real quickly, I always hear the banks getting the bailout, but the banks did pay it back. Not satisfactory? They did not pay it back, actually. When you Some look at the, the fact that, no, not at all. Bank of America has paid zero in taxes, literally zero. No, no, no but they um, paid back major, the They did not, absolutely did not. They did not pay it back in jobs. They are right now charging Americans who bank with them $5 extra a month okay. just to use their ATM card. So I not mean, if you look at it, it, egregious injustice happening, and corporate America is just okay. getting away with it all. All right, fair enough. Let's move to Jason. Talk that the Occupy movement has given the Tea Party movement a run for its money as far as a grassroots movement gaining political influence. First question, how do you feel about the competition? And second question, what kind of impact are these comparisons having on the Tea Party? Well, for, for, for a second there, I thought she was uh, actually describing the Tea Party about everyday citizens getting together and being upset about what's going on. But there the are similarity. Vast, yeah, there are vast differences. Uh, let's look at the record to date. Um, if you look at their 23 arrests in occupied Denver, uh, including um, assaulting a police officer, 700 arrests in New York, including defecating on a police car. The uh, president of city council in Boston said it'll probably cost taxpayers $2 million for their occup occupation. And in Philly, that number is up to 690,000, I heard by the end of the month, mm -hmm. uh, for overtime and for cleaning up. So there are vast differences, but I'm very nervous about the messaging that I'm hearing. Uh, it sounds pleasant, but the signs in Boston and the signs in New York, even Oakland, California, were about destroying capitalism. And, and I, I've, I've got to ask, I mean, is the message to get rid of the capitalist system and what are, you, what are you suggesting you're actually going to replace it with? Susanna? I would say not at all. I, I would say that the mothers with the stroller brigade today at or, uh, Occupy Orlando and the grandmothers with the granny brigade would point out the fact that there are differences between the Tea Party movement and the 99% movement. The Tea Party movement is now funded by corporate America in the form of the Koch brothers who made their money off of big oil and are bankrolling bus tours across the country. The 99%, we don't have slick made signs, we don't have buses, and we don't have the kinds of um, wonderful corporate pleasures that the Tea Party has, but we're out there to make our voices heard. We've got mothers, we've got grandmothers, we've got, I met a Republican out there today who says, you know what, I am fed up with the way that corporate America gets away with paying no taxes, not pulling their own weight, and I sit here and I play by the rules. I okay, work hard every Susanna? day, two jobs, and Susanna? can't even make ends meet. Susanna, I apologize. We are no out problem. of time. It happens. It goes very fast, but thank you both for coming in. It does seem like there's one similarity. You both are dissatisfied with current establishment. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you.